Hey guys and welcome. We are just going to get right into this DIY. Go ahead and pause this if you want to see all of the items that I used for these projects, but the star of the show are these small little bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree. I've never seen these tiny ones before. I've only ever used the long ones and they're a little bit thicker. These are tinier and you get a hundred pieces. So you're just going to need one pack and we are going to end up doing two different DIYs. Now the first thing I did was take some of this thicker twine and I'm measuring it out to be about 12 inches and I end up taking two pieces for each. So you're going to need four pieces total of 12 inch twine, uh, two for the top and then two for the bottom. So once you get these measured out, I'm actually just going to tape them to the countertop and then we will start gluing the skewers on. So I'm first laying the skewers out just to kind of see how far apart I want them to be spaced and to see how many I'm gonna need. And I end up using 22. And if you guys have any clue what I'm making, I'm actually making a lantern. So we are going to be making a little bamboo skewer lantern. So once I got these figured out, like how many I needed, I'm gonna remove them and then start gluing them. At first, I'm taking some little cutters and I'm cutting off the pointy ends because if you recall, these are skewers like for kebabs or whatnot. So I don't want the pointy ends on there. So I'm just taking these little, I think they're wire cutters and I'm just cutting the tips off. Now I'm just taking my ruler and spacing out 12 inches in between the twines so that I know how tall I need them to be or you know how spaced out and I'm going to tape the top and the bottom and like I said I decided to use two pieces of twine for each just to make it a little bit thicker so I'm just going to tape these down to my counter and then start gluing the skewers on. Now once you get to the tape, I'm just going to remove the tape on the end and then glue one last skewer to each end. And of course repeat it for the other side. Now I'm going to carefully roll it over and we're going to end up gluing them the each of the ends together. So we're making like a cylinder. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be a cute little lantern. So I'm just gonna take the top pieces of the twine and hot glue those together for the top and the bottom. I'm gonna take these large craft sticks from Dollar Tree and we're gonna make the base. So I'm just going to hot glue about, I think I glued maybe six or seven of them together. And this is going to be the base for the lantern. And then once you get those all glued together, I'm going to glue the actual lantern part to that. Once I did get it in there, I did go ahead and trace it with my pencil just so I could kind of get an idea of where I wanted to glue it because the actual lantern was kind of flimsy. So I drew this out and then I just went ahead and glued the lantern to the base.
Now while the glue is completely drying, I'm taking some smaller twine and I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna tie it around about three or four times and then just tie it in a little knot. And this is just gonna kind of be like a little decorative piece. And then later on, I'm gonna do another one of these as well. So there's gonna be one closer to the top and then one closer to the bottom as well. And now that the glue is completely dry, I'm just taking these little, I think these are wire cutters as well, and I'm just cutting off the excess pieces of the craft sticks so that you can't, so it's just the circle base on the lantern. Next, I'm taking some marbles and gluing those at the bottom for the base. Originally, I had wanted to use some little wood pieces, but I didn't have any, and I didn't feel like running back to Dollar Tree to look for some, so my daughter found these marbles, and these actually worked out perfect. So I just glued three of them to the bottom to act as the base. And now I'm tying that other piece of twine at the bottom. And then once I finish with that, I'm just taking another like smaller piece of the thicker twine and that is gonna act as the handle. I'm so sorry that you can't, I can't really see it. I wasn't really in the view of the camera when I was doing this, but I'm just gluing the twine to each side of the lantern at the top just to make a handle. And for this one, I went ahead and put in one of my tall pillar candles that I can put on a timer. You can also use a little tea light. I wouldn't recommend an actual flame just because it could catch on fire, but I think this turned out so cute. All right, for this next one, we are using these little bamboo skewers again, and we are going to need 24 three inch pieces and then 36 two and a half inch pieces. So that's what I'm doing right now is just marking those off with my ruler. So you're just gonna go through, mark those off, make sure you have as many pieces as I said, um, and then we will go from there. Now we are going to start laying those pieces into kind of a pentagon shape, but not all the pieces are the same, so I'm not really sure what this shape is called. But at the very top, you're going to have the two and a half, and then the sides are going to be the three inch, and then the two um, bottom pieces are going to be two and a half inches as well. So I hope this makes sense to you guys, but this is what it's gonna look like and you're gonna glue those together and you're gonna end up making 12 of these little pentagons if you wanna call it that. Um, it might have a different name, but I, I'm not sure. So you're just gonna go through and make 12 of these and then I will show you what we do next. Once I had all of my 12 pieces ready, I did notice that the glue was kind of sticking out in some spots. So I'm just taking my little cutters and I'm just kind of cutting off the glue pieces that were sticking out. Uh, we're gonna spray paint it later so it won't be super noticeable, but I didn't want them to be like big like globs on there. So just try to cut them out and make them like as flush as possible. So if you guys hadn't guessed, we are making another lantern. So what I'm doing now is just taking some glue and gluing the pieces together. And then I'm gonna kind of set them up, like bend them a little bit because we're making a lantern. So we want them to go around in kind of a circle. Um, so you're just gonna take all six of those pieces and glue them together and then just keep bending them in a little bit. Like once the glue starts to harden and it should fit together nicely. Now 
Next, I'm gonna glue those two pieces to the rest of it, and you have one whole part of it complete. Now you're gonna go ahead and do this again with those other six pieces, and then we are going to glue them together. Now you might have to bend it a little bit because these should all be equal sides. Uh, I believe this is a hexagon shape there at the top. Uh, so you kind of want it to all be even and symmetrical. Uh, it's a little crooked because it's not perfect, but for the most part, it's pretty symmetrical. Now, like I said, you're gonna do that with the other part. And now we're gonna stack them on top of each other and glue them together. And then once I had them all glued together, I just went outside and sprayed them down with my Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold, and this is how it turned out. I think this turned out so cute. I love it. Uh, I actually have one that looks a lot like this. I was kind of just trying to make a duplicate, so I think I'm going to give this one to my mom. So let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite, and I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you all soon. Bye!